Command readiness across the Army is serious business, has been since 9-11. But I'll tell you right For General now, James Thurman, commanding general at FORSCOM, U.S. Army Forces Command, the business at hand at this gathering with soldier readiness. is making sure the Army continues to answer the nation's call. The purpose of this is to uh, educate our senior commanders on how we see the future. A future built around a total Army force, active, reserve, and National Guard. According to Thurman, reserve component soldiers currently represent over half of the Army's operating forces in Iraq and Afghanistan. You know, level three, level four. Here at this uh, event, a command readiness conference, the principal focus is understanding what the future brings to the reserve component and how to sustain it. And make sure we do everything we can to train the soldiers that are going downrange in Afghanistan and Iraq. The chain of command. The two-day seminar drew some 300 senior military leaders, primarily National Guard and Army Reserve. The agenda encouraged insights and open dialogue into the complex challenges of bringing citizen soldiers to the fight. One answer to emerge is Army force generation. We're moving to a supply-based model. That way we can predict our Army, our structure, and what we need for the Army in the future. Over the last 10 years, it's estimated 800,000 reserve component soldiers have been called to active duty. This is a big deal. We've yeah. got to be inclusive as an Army. Okay. This is a total Army concept that is so important. The mission and execution. A concept Force deemed command, essential Army. now and in the future. That they share Gail McKay, vision. Camp Robinson, Arkansas. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television, Atlanta.